Look guys, it's the 12 angled stone. All right guys, we're moving. Positive for coronavirus. Everything's boarded up. Shaded up. What's up, man? Oh, <laughs> We're Alex and Lindsay. We're two travelers who were exploring South America. Suddenly, a strict lockdown began in Peru, and we've been stuck ever since. Along the way, we took in a stray dog, and he hasn't left our side. It's been months, and we're still here. So we're documenting the whole experience and sharing it with you. Hey, the car is coming by right now, the one that sells fruits and vegetables. So we're gonna go catch it. Run, run, run. Alright, I think we made it. Huh? Oh, perfect. That's how they announce everything. Look at all the cops back there. Grapes, pears. Pears. All right, we made it to the fruit truck and we bought about eleven dollars worth of fruit. We got a ton of oranges, a melon, and what else? Mango, Mango, avocado, some limes, and that's about it. <laughs> More stuff for smoothie bowls. Look guys, it's the 12 angled stone. If you want to come and get any sweaters or other things, you come into this alleyway by the 12 angled stone. All right, so here is the shop. So look at all the sweaters they have. They have a ton of stuff. Hola, hola. More. So we got him a collar. Look at this. Hey, we got him a Peruvian collar. Yeah. That looks good on him. Yeah. It's actually a woman's headband, but we had to get creative. We wanted some bright Peruvian colors for his collar. Oh, he's walking the red carpet. <laughs> So all of you who contributed to the GoFundMe for Potato Head, you just bought him that nice little Peruvian collar. That shop is so nice. They gave us little free bracelets. It has little <laughs> alpacas on it. So we will be going back there and getting a lot more. We love that place. And the people are so nice. And the name of the place is Asunta. <laughs> he loves it. Now people will know he has an owner. A local came up to me and asked if I was part of the travel bum. And she said that she wanted to know where the shop was because she's pregnant and she's looking for clothing. So it looks like this channel is helping people. <laughs> We're helping uh, get more business to the good shops that we go to. <laughs> so she was about to go to that shop right when we were about to go and get some stuff. So yeah, guys, if you go to that shop, tell them the travel bum sent you. <laughs> All right, guys, we're moving. We're moving out of the place that we've been in for one month. And we didn't want to move out of there, but if you've been watching the videos, you'll know that people move there who are positive for coronavirus. So we have about a 20 minute walk with all of this stuff. Show so me your two backpacks. This includes everything we travel with and then some of our- uh, Groceries. Our groceries and stuff. And then I'm carrying these and then I have a 30 pound backpack on my back. Uh. We'll give you guys an Airbnb tour pretty soon. And this is Lindsay and all she has to carry. Moving day. You never like moving day. All right, guys, we just arrived to our new place. Well, our new place for the next couple days. So carrying all that stuff was so heavy for so long that we're both shaking a little bit. Lindsay a lot more than me. Look at this. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm trying to put chapstick on. My hand is shaking. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> wow. This is like kind of... Wow, you could brush your teeth without moving. <laughs> without even trying. That's pathetic. 
<laughs> so Lindsay is trying to put on makeup so we can do a little tour for you guys really quick. Let's see how she does it. <laughs> that looks dangerous. So before the Airbnb tour, we're gonna go and grab some food really quick. Uh, now that things are opening up, we're not sure if we're gonna go to a restaurant or what we're gonna be allowed to do. Look, it's cheap, uh, Peruvian Chinese food. Looks like this place has been out of commission for a while. All right, we didn't really mean to, but we're exploring a new area now. Looking for a bank. I think I see a bank there. Oh, uh, yeah. And looking for some food. Maybe some pollo a la brasa or some chifa. Whatever we can find. Look. Everything's boarded up, gated up. So we just went to a little cafe or maybe a restaurant and we got a couple things to eat and they gave it to us in these. <laughs> so it was empty seating and we were sitting at a table for a second. We thought maybe they would actually allow us to sit in there and eat our meal, but now we had to find some steps in an alleyway and we're gonna have a empanada, <laughs> an empanada and a juice. We've been making smoothies, but we haven't bought juice in a while, so it'll be good to have juice that's made by someone other than me. Oh, it just dropped in my head. Did a bird poop on my head? Did a bird poop on your head? Yeah. Alright, what kind of juice and a banana and all that? Things always seem to taste better when someone else makes it. This is a pineapple juice. Alex got a mango juice. And then we got two empanadas. One is carne, and one is chicken, bacon, and cheese. So this is a carne empanada. And then mango juice. Look at all that. Pork. It's thick. Mm, that is pure mango. So, carne empanada. So you see the meat in there, and some onions and peppers, some kind of sauce. It's really good. So the outside of this, the crust, it tastes kind of like a chicken pot pie crust. But it's not flaking apart quite like that. It's a little more malleable. It's much different than the empanadas we were getting in Colombia. <laughs> All right, Lindsay, try the other empanada. This one is the bacon, chicken, and cheese. So look at that in there. Chicken, cheese, bacon. But the crust of this is amazing. You see the sesame seeds on there? All right, so that was a pretty good meal. We got two smoothies in these large cups, two different empanadas. For $9 total, so four fifty each, USD, pretty cheap. All right guys, welcome to our new home for the next couple of days. So it's basically a studio and it's actually really nice. Look, it's pretty stylish. It has a vaulted ceiling and the best part about it is this. <laughs> In the middle of the room, your bed faces a shower, an open face shower. So when we take showers, there is no privacy, which is fine. I've never seen a bed right across from a shower in the middle of a room. It's like the centerpiece. Pretty nice view of this garden next door. So the Airbnb that we're actually moving into isn't ready yet, so we're gonna be living here for a couple of days. And then, look guys, there's these cute little hanging lights. I love the aesthetic in this place. And look at this cute little table. <laughs> Alex and I can sit and have dinner here or have some drinks. Well, we'll be having our tea there in the morning. <sighs> This is Beautiful. awesome. We have a TV that's mounted right up here across from the bed. So we can just relax in bed and watch TV at night. Look at this wood stove. You go like this, turn it to the left, pop that open. A little wood fire stove. So We're... we'll probably use this later tonight. And look at this, half of the wall is this frosted glass and we can see the garden plants through it. That's 
pretty cool aesthetic there. And look at this. Nice little touches. Little tiles. So I would say one thing that really sets this Airbnb apart from most places that we stay is all the little details. Like this little blanket chest right here. It's wooden and there's all these little Peruvian houses carved with the mountains in the background and little Peruvian ladies with their hats and their braids. And then their little sacks that they use to carry things. So it's very Peruvian and I love the bedding. One of the walls is all stone, and this actually resembles the 12 angled stone, I think, here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So there's all these little details that we keep noticing as we're spending more time in here. And now we will go to the bathroom. Pretty much right here is all the bathroom. It's not separated by a door except for the actual toilet. So here we have a sink that's made of rock. We have the toilet. So it's very clean in here. It's pretty basic. Nothing too crazy, just a toilet. Here in South America, you can't flush toilet paper in the toilet. So it has to go in the little waste paper bin right here. And just in case you forget, they have a sign letting you know. And if you get stinky, <laughs> ah, fresh air, a beautiful view, and something that should not be taken for granted, a hot shower. Wow. Get in there. <laughs> and this is the view from the bed. While I'm laying in bed, this is what I get to look at. Hang your baby. Um. So there's a nice little bar area here with a couple of bar stools. So we can have our drinks here, do some work. A mini fridge. We didn't see this a second ago. Oh, wow. some beer. It even comes. Aw. This is, is that 25 soles or two sole? And then there's some wine in there and beer. We have a heater. That's that always nice handy. because it is getting cold in Cusco and we need a heater wherever we're going to be now. And again, as Lindsay was pointing out, we have more of this Peruvian art carved or etched into the edges of the mirror. That's pretty cool. We have windows all around us. What's the little leaves? You kind of don't even really realize it because they're curtains. Feels like we're in a garden. If it weren't for a lockdown and needing a space where you can cook, needing a kitchen, this place would be perfect for a place to stay while you're traveling. Oh yeah, something pretty interesting for the Mr. Potato Head fans here. So somebody on Instagram reached out to us and she sent us a picture. She took a picture of Mr. Potato Head four years ago. All right, now it's time for Q&A. So the first one we have is from Flory Mel says, oh my gosh, I almost screamed when you guys got to the store and saw the poncho Alex was wearing. I'm so glad you went there. Everything there was beautiful. Are you guys planning to buy things to bring for your viewers from that store? Yeah, that store was awesome. Supposedly it's like the best store in Cusco for uh, Peruvian sweaters and touristy items and things like that. It was mm -hmm. great. They had a I huge wanted everything. selection. <laughs> yeah, and good prices. So we are gonna go back there and get more stuff for ourselves and more stuff for our families and friends. And then we actually have a Patreon. So if you join Patreon at a certain tier, then we send you souvenirs every couple months or every few months, something like that. Mm -hmm. So once we get traveling, it'll be from all over the world. So if you wanna join the Patreon, you can either get postcards from us or and or souvenirs. And that link is down below as always. So yes, our plan is to get a big suitcase and stuff it full with a ton of amazing things for friends and family, ourselves, and then our patrons who are at that higher tier for the souvenirs. So we're really excited to pick stuff out. So our next question is from Omari Joseph who asks, the question is, is an alpaca the same as a llama or not quite? So we've actually been wondering the exact same thing. We didn't know if they were the same animal. We didn't think they were, but also we didn't know the difference. So we looked it up. Uh, llamas have long banana shaped ears while alpacas have straight ears and they are smaller. Their faces are also a bit different with llamas having a longer face while alpacas have a smushed face. Llamas are bigger than alpacas. I guess they weigh up to 400 pounds. And one note about that, we made some merch with Potato Head on it, which is linked down below, but I'm about to hand draw an alpaca 
or a llama, <laughs> whatever it is that's in South America. I believe it's alpaca. I think both of Maybe them both. Are, yeah. So. Whichever one is native to South America, whether it be one or both, I'm going to draw one with maybe Inca Cola or something like that. So get ready for that design. Keep checking the link down below to Teespring and you can get a t-shirt or a mug or something with a cool alpaca on it. Our next one is from Derek Hale. Says, Peruvian spread mayonnaise on the French fries. It's yummy. From what I've heard, Americans just spread ketchup. Is this true? <laughs> that is true. For the most part, people from the U.S. do use ketchup and they use a ton of it on their fries. I personally like mayonnaise, but I don't think that's a common thing. And then in the U.S., a ton of people use ranch dressing on everything. I'm sure pizza. Peruvians would think that's weird. Yeah. I use it on my fries. Yeah, pizza, ranch. chicken strips. <laughs> I haven't even seen ranch dressing available here. Do they sell it in Peru? I don't think so. But yeah, traditionally ketchup is what people from the U.S. use on their fries and use on burgers and all of that yeah. stuff all the time and a ton of it. We also notice the ketchup here tastes a bit different than back home. Yeah, it usually does. Almost everywhere I go in the world yeah. it tastes different than it does in the U.S. So the one in Peru, I'm not sure. It tastes pretty similar. It's really not too much different, mm -hmm. but a lot of times I'll go places like in Europe, like in Spain, I noticed that their ketchup a lot of the time tasted more like salsa, like a Mexican salsa. And I tried putting that on a burger and it just did not work. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny how ketchup can change so many places. Yeah. All right. The next one is from Smile. She says, love that purple, blue and yellow tie dye top. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. Where did you get it? So I got that top from Amazon actually for really cheap. So if there's anything that you like that we have that we're wearing or that we use, a lot of times you can find that in our Amazon shop. So if you click in the description below, there's a link to the Amazon store and you can see lots of travel gear that Alex and I use. Okay. And in that link, you're gonna find a lot of travel gear and clothing and just other miscellaneous things that Alex and I use on our travels. So it's designated to different shops. So you'll see an Alexander Travel Bum shop, and then you'll see a Lindsay shop. She just made it. It's new, so go take a look. She spent a lot of time on it. <laughs> she put all of this clothing, including like the tie-dye dress and stuff like that. It was fun. So, so if you're a woman especially, <laughs> go into Lindsay's shop, and if you use Amazon, and you can see everything that she travels with and things that she wears. And then if you're a guy or anybody, go to Alexander Travel Bum shop, and I have all my camera gear pretty much everything that I've traveled with for the last five years. And sorry we just threw like three different links at you guys. We didn't mean to do that. It's just your questions asked for it pretty much. <laughs> so we have the merch, the Amazon store, and then yeah, anyway. All right, the last one we have is from first and last. It says, do you both FaceTime or Zoom with your family? Have you seen your new niece in that fashion? Are you concerned with possible food shortages? Yeah, actually, I saw my niece while she was still at the hospital um, a few days ago. And we do Zoom with our families sometimes. Um, we've even played a game online with my brother and sister-in-law and their friends. So that was pretty cool. That was you fun. can get like 10 people on there and play a game together, like multiple choice, answer questions. I forget the It's pretty name cool. And Lindsay FaceTimes with her family almost every day, it seems like. <laughs> Not quite, but... And then you asked about food shortages. <clears throat> We've never worried about food shortages here. There's tons of like organic fruits and veggies. There's tons of markets open. So that part we don't have to worry about, thankfully. Yeah. We worried about it when lockdown first happened because we, we heard about like what happened in the US where toilet paper was off the shelves within a couple of days. But we've had toilet paper the whole time. Fully stocked shelves, fully stocked shelves of food. The only thing we can't find is pitahaya, <laughs> which is uh, <laughs> dragon fruit, which is dragon fruit. Yeah. And there's a yellow pitaya, pitahaya in Peru that we really like, but now it became super expensive and then, or it's just gone. Yeah, I think so. it's literally like $4 for one or something, which is insane. And, and they're like this big, they're like the size of an apple. So, so. we can't justify buying that. <laughs> yeah, no more pitahaya for now. <laughs> So next we're going to get into our coronavirus story and this one comes from a friend of ours that's here stuck in Cusco that's also from the U.S. Hey, my name is Sean. I'm from the U.S.A., uh, specifically Florida. I pretty much came to Cusco to backpack around Europe, not Europe, South America, but I got stuck here the first day of quarantine. 
I can't really study Spanish originally, but now I'm just trying to make the most of it. Well, I'm kind of stuck here. It's kind of like jail in a sense, in a smaller sense, because you can't do anything. Shopping, banks, that's about it. Uh, in a positive way, it's giving me so much time to reflect on what kind of person I am and who I want to be. I actually finished my master's degree online while I was here, so. Well, I've been stray dogs too, two to be exact. Feast your eyes. The other one got neutered, so he's at home. That had to be done. Don't judge me. So, so I got here a week before lockdown hit. I was actually in Lima. I flew here the day of quarantine. I figured and this was supposed to be two weeks, so I figured I could do two weeks. Now we're going on three months, so do I regret it? Good question. I'm not yes and no. It's I'm trying to be very positive about it and use it to the most of my ability. What's up, man? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hey, Cali, Colombia. My number is number one and not Tari. Hey guys, we can only do so much on YouTube and we only put out a video every two or three days. So if you want more, if you want daily stuff, you should head to Instagram, find us at Alexander Travel Bum. And that's where you'll find daily stories and photos about our travels. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.